Hello and welcome to the web's newest podcast, coming to you from the Newark.com with the latest in engineering and electrical solutions, services, groundbreaking products to make lives easier. We call this show Engineer Beat. Your host right here, Jack Finn. How you doing? Now, if you enjoy taking snapshots of the infinite night skies, or if your passion is catching the perfect images out there, today's podcast is definitely for you. As Engineer Beat bring you the three Arduino projects for astronomers. Astrophotography is a difficult skill to learn, and astronomers wanting to get perfect pictures of the night sky can experience some basic problems like the digital camera picking up interference from light sources other than starlight, stars emitting dim lights. This often makes it impossible for the astrophotographers to capture bright and high quality images. The stars move across the sky with the rotation of the Earth. And most digital cameras have limited exposure time of up to 15 to 30 seconds. But by adding a microcontroller, such as Arduino, to control the functions and motion of the camera, many of these problems can be eliminated. That's right. One of those projects is called Photo Stacking Technique. Photo Stacking Technique produces detailed pictures of star fields and related phenomena like galaxies. Now, you don't need to use a telescope with a stacking method. Stacking images increases the amount of detail captured and the camera and the tracking motors are controlled remotely by an Arduino board. With this method, you need to take many images of the sky and use a computer program to deal with the removal of noise. The photos are downloaded onto the computer and any unwanted and unnecessary image artifacts are removed, such as airplanes or clouds using rot and stack or deep sky stacker software, which will align all photos taken to ensure that the stars are at the same place before doing dark field subtractions and saving of the aligned copy so you can open them in layers. Stacking all the pictures essentially means that by taking the mean values of each pixel, the resulting photo has all the details without any of the visual noise. Another is building an equatorial mount for long exposure photos. Using a tripod to get long photographic exposures of the stars is not very effective as any significant exposure length leads to star trails. Smearing of the light from the stars is an elegant but unwanted curve on the photo. To avoid this, you need to use a special type of mount that can spin with the Earth, keeping the stars still and in sharp focus. An equatorial mount can be mounted on a tripod and with careful programming of the controller for the motors, will allow your camera to track across the sky and get the details that are often more difficult to capture, like the Milky Way. Also, we have the auroral indicator. The auroral indicator gives a visual warning of when the northern lights are likely to be visible. The kit for the prediction indicator has the following three main components. There's the PHP web scraping script, processing script, and Arduino script. It has an LED display that shows the current level of auroral activity. A PHP web scraping script gathers the information from the Costello Geomagnetic Activity Index, and the processing script allows the Arduino to use a system of different colored lights to simply display the information. Red for high activity, green for low activity, white for prior warning, and blue for moderate. The simplicity of Arduino comes on its own on builds like this, bringing the project within the reach of an enthusiastic amateur. The endless uses for a small, powerful control unit has given people a reason to learn the Arduino software, as well as the electronics, which enable them to build and control almost anything that they can think of. And there you have it, the three Arduino projects for astronomers, the photo stacking technique, the building an equatorial mount for long exposure photos, and the auroral indicator. It's every astronomer's dream on engineer beat. Now, if you're really serious about astrophotography, you have got to catch this podcast again on the next episode because I will be sharing with you five fantastic tools to make with the Arduino. And oh, by the way, you can actually learn more details about one of the Arduino projects. Just go to instrocables.com and type in how to build an equatorial mount for long exposure. Well, this has been Jack Finn for Engineer B. Thank you for joining me.